Here is a bonus video from our exploration of Goju Ryu Karate with guest John Paul Williams. Find a link for the full episode on the history of Goju Ryu Karate in the video description. So Kasai no Genri, uh, if you were to take a lot of your bunkai and make it continuous and keep on going, as in for oil, like application, uh, bunkai is to actually disassemble or to break down. Oil is application. Now, if you take bunkai and you make it continuous oil, you would end up with this really long series until one opponent or until your opponent is finished. But let's be honest, you can only learn so many items in a series before you need to restart and do a new series. And Kasai no Genri comes into play here, where in order to make a kata, you want to break the kata into portions. And this includes Kempo kata also, Kempo forms also. You'll see the first part of the kata looks like this, and then suddenly you move to a new opponent, you're doing a different set of techniques. And you move over here, and you're doing a different set of techniques. You move over here, you're doing a different set of techniques. And then you loop back around, come this way to the front again, and you finish off with another set of techniques, if not a set of techniques that remember that resembles one of those other four that you started off with, that you did previously, and it ends up back into the front, into the front again. So Kasai no Genri is applying those techniques in an orderly manner that's easier for the student to remember. And this helps in building and making kata. So a lot of old teachers from you know, Miyagi even Yamaguchi Goshi in Japan uh, is, has made four new kata for Gojuru. Uh, Kasai no Genri was a big part of how do you make these new kata. Uh, Toguchi made, I think, four kata for his associate, his Gojuru association. It, he was a brilliant uh, user of that theory, Kasai no Genri, using the bunkai, following the oil, not giving it so much that a student can't remember it, and then let's move to the next portion of Bunkai. Let's move to the next series of techniques. Bunkai is to break down, to decompose or deconstruct. Oyo is to apply, and together they build Kasai no Genri, making a new kata. Celebrate the art of Gojuru Karate with this commemorative Forefather t-shirt, available only here at Art of One Dojo. Pick yours up on the product shelf below the video or at the link in the description.